Hey, it's Paul from HowToPlayBass.com. In this video, you're going to learn to play A Hard Day's Night by the Beatles and Paul McCartney. This is the fourth in my mini series of early Paul McCartney Beatles bass lines. Like the three others that's preceded this lesson, the basic bass line has got a quarter note pulse to it. What's slightly different is that the underlying rhythmic pulse of the song is a straight eighth note pulse. All of the three preceding lessons have been a swing eighth note pulse. Very easy tune. Another one of those ones that's fairly quick to get under your fingers and good fun to play, so great for beginners to pick up. Before we start with the verse, which is where the bass comes in, if you're not a subscriber to my free monthly easing, click on the link underneath the video, head over to my website and subscribe. You get a free monthly video and PDF tutorial lesson, which is exclusive to subscribers. Additionally, as a thank you for subscribing, you get a sequence of four video and PDF lessons that again are exclusive to subscribers. So go do that, then come back and let's kick off the lesson and look at where the bass comes in, which is the verse. The basic verse pattern, simple eight bar section, play through it with the metronome, we'll talk through it. Two, three, four. Okay, then it would go to the chorus, which we'll do in a second. Okay, very simple pattern, four bar pattern that repeats twice. First bar, and the, the underlying rhythmic pulse, as I said in the intro, is a straight quarter note. So the first bar is two Gs and two Cs. And they're the third fret of the E and A strings, respectively. So G, G, C, C. The next bar is just quarter notes in G, four Gs. And the third bar, We've got two quarter notes in F, F natural, first fret of the E string, and then two eighth notes, and then another quarter note. So that bar is... And then the fourth bar, just four quarter notes in G again. And just repeat that pattern. So very slowly, the four bar pattern is this. So, very simple, you repeat that, and then that would take you to the four bar chorus. Okay, the chorus is a four bar section. There's two variations of the chorus. I'll play the first variation, and you use this variation whenever you're going back to the verse. Two, three, four. Okay, very simple. First bar is in C, you've got three quarter notes in C and then two eighth notes, that's the third fret of the A string, so you play. Then you've got four quarter notes in D for the second bar of the chorus, that's the fifth fret of the A string. Then you've got two Gs, two Cs, third frets of the E and A strings respectively, and then the last bar is you've got a quarter note of G, third fret of the E string, and then eighth notes of D. Um, fifth fret of the A string. So the full chorus. Now, this is the variation you use when you're going back to the verse or you're going to the guitar solo um, from the verse. If you're going to the bridge, you need to use a second variation which is very similar but the last bar is different. The total four bars for the second variation would be So all you do is instead of going up to D on that last bar, it's still in G, you just stay on the G and play four quarter notes on the G, that's the third fret of the E string. So you just transpose, not transpose, you just replace the bar that went with a bar that just plays on G. And that will take you to the bridge, um, which is an eight bar section, let's go and look at that bridge. Okay, the bridge is an eight bar section, play it with the metronome and then we'll talk through it. Two, three, four. Apart from the seventh bar, it's an entirely quarter note rhythm. So the first bar is B, uh, second fret of the A string, four quarter notes in B. Second bar is E, four quarter notes, open E string. 
Then the third and fourth bars, you've got two bars of B. Again, you just play the root notes in quarter notes. So that's B at the second fret of the A string. Then you've got a bar of G. Again, quarter notes, third fret of the E string. Another bar of open E or E minor. And then the last two bars are C and D. The C bar, the seventh bar, has got an eighth note, a pair of eighth notes in it. C's the third fret of the A string, and then the last bar is D, fifth fret of the A string, just in four quarter notes. So, very straightforward section. It goes back from the first bridge, it goes back to a verse, and then that verse would use chorus one, because then it goes to the guitar solo, which is built on the verse format. So let's go and look at the guitar solo. Okay, the guitar solo is almost identical to the verse. The major differences are you've got some slightly different things happening in the 4th and the 8th bar. Play through the entire section, we'll talk through it. 1, 2, 3, 4. played the C, the first note of the chorus, so you could hear that run leading to it. So, let's walk through the bars slowly. The first bar is similar to the first, or identical to the first bar of the verse, which is G, G, C, C, third frets of the E and A strings respectively. The second bar is just G, but you've got a couple of eighth notes on the third beat. The fourth bar's got the same rhythm, sorry, the third bar has the same rhythm, but it's F natural, first fret of the E string. Then the fourth bar has got two G's quarter notes, third fret of the E string, and then it's got three triplets over the third and fourth beats, of, and the note you play is D, the fifth fret of the A string. So the bar would be, and then you'd be back into the, f the downbeat for the fifth bar. Um, fifth bar, identical to the first bar, two G's, two C's. Sixth bar, four G's quarter notes. Seventh bar identical to the third bar, F. And then the eighth bar, you've got a little short scalar run which takes you to lead you towards C, the first note of the chorus. And that run, or well, the eighth bar would be two quarter notes of G, then two eighth notes of G, open A string, and B at the second fret of the A string. And that would lead you to C, the first fret of the, um, sorry, the third fret of the A string, which is the first note of the chorus. So I'll just play that section again. into the chorus. Now the only other section we've got to look at is the very last chorus which has got a little tag on it to take us to the outro. So the outro chorus uses the first variation of the chorus which is the one where the fourth bar goes from G and then plays that on D. Um, I'll play through the outro chorus playing that first variation and then going into the kind of the turnaround and the tag. Three, four. be the note that's held as the uh, kind of the guitar arpeggio fades in the background. So the first four bars of that are what we've covered before. C, C, D, G, C, G, and then those sixth eighth notes on D. Then you'd repeat G, G, C, C, G, G, and four eighth notes this time on D, and then G, G, C, C, and D. There's that sustain note. So effectively, you're playing the chorus variation one and then these bars. And then that is the D note that will hold and sustain um, over or underneath the kind of the guitar arpeggio that fades out. Um, if you play that with the recording, it will all make sense and all fit together. So put those parts together and you'll be able to get through this tune.